Hello, hello, and welcome back, or welcome. I am Book Love Lorna, and I'm going to share with you every single unread book on my bookshelves. So this might take a while. Now, there's a lot, so what I'm going to do is go through, I'm just going to kind of get straight into it because this is going to take a while. Um, each shelf, I will just kind of show you what is unread on each shelf, because... I couldn't get them all off at once because we'd be drowning in books. Now I will start with this top shelf which you can see the edge of. Give me a moment. Now this top shelf doesn't have too many unread books so we're starting very well, very very well. Now first we have 12 Rules for Life by Jordan B. Peterson. I started this, it's not for me, don't know why this is still on my shelf. I can unhaul this actually uh, because it's not the kind of thing that I'm going to get cracking into. Did I, oh, there's my bookmark. I was literally just about to say, I think I left my bookmark in here, thinking that I would one time go back to it, and I haven't. Um, I thought I'd lost that. That has been in there for about two years. <laughs> oh, oh, I got my bookmark back. So I got to page 148, take the bookmark out because I'm never picking that up again. Uh, now, next we have so I did kind of read that but I didn't finish it. Next we have Born Free by Joy Adamson. Now I am planning on reading this one. Um, I think I bought it in a charity shop and it has been on my shelves maybe four years. Oopsie. Um, but I do want to read it. It's just not something that I think to pick up. I think maybe at some point I need to do like a challenge of reading books that have been on my shelf like a certain length of time because there's quite a few of those. Now let me put those ones back. Now we have a chunk of books that were sat together on my shelf, none of which are read, so that's fantastic. We have Where the Light Gets In by Lucy Dillon. I purchased this because it's got my name in it. Well firstly I picked it up because it had a miniature dash end on it and then when I opened it up to see like what it was about, uh, one of the main characters is called Lorna and it's spelt like me, L-O-R-N-A. And you don't get that very often, like, at all. Like, I actually met a Lorna in real life at work the other day. And she was like, my name's Lorna. And I was like, my name's Lorna. Nice to meet you. And then every time we see each other, it's like, hi, Lorna. Hi, Lorna. Bye, Lorna. Bye, Lorna. Even though we're not actually dealing with each other, every time we see each other now, it's just like, hi, Lorna. Because it's just so exciting to meet someone with the name Lorna. It's not like a common name. Like, people don't really have it. So... No, that's exciting. So that's why I bought this and, you know, still haven't read it. So that's exciting. Now, The Miniaturist by... I'm going to say that's exciting a lot today, aren't I? I'm in that mood. The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. I've been on my shelves a long time. I have two editions of this. I don't know where my other one is, actually. Oh, no, I see it. Um, but, yeah, I haven't I haven't read that yet. Everyone, everyone was, like, over the top with it when it first came out. And then... I just kind of didn't read it and it's just sat on my shelves ever since and one of my friends borrowed it once and she didn't really love it so it's made me not really start it unfortunately. Next we have Cecilia O'Hearn How to Fall in Love. It's just one of my Cecilia O'Hearn collection which I've got most of her books but I, when I read them apart from Where in Bows End I just don't really enjoy them that much so I kind of need to reevaluate whether I want Cecilia O'Hearn books on my shelves not sure I don't know but that's kind of still chilling there at the moment um oh I've built put that one down but I have read that so that can go back on the shelf so let's make a note as we go along how many unread books so unread four or maybe I could just do it with my calculator I might know because I might click off it okay so four books so far now we're down to this shelf now what have I not read on this shelf okay or we're a bit jam packed in here because I've not got much room. Ghost at a Watchman by Harper Lee. Uh, I read To Kill a Mockingbird in School, thought it was really good, and then bought this and didn't read it. So, I want to reread To Kill a Mockingbird before I read this. So, I think that's probably why I've not picked up. But I will, I will at some point in the future. The Unmumsy Mum by, I don't even know, Sarah Turner. Um, don't know why I bought that. Bought it in a charity shop. Uh, not even a mum. Um, 
probably could unhaul that one as well. Am I going to read it? Probably not. Could probably give that one back to charity, couldn't I? Now this one, I'm not sure if we would count this as a book that I would read, because would I read it? I don't know, it's lots of pictures. I probably should, Alexa Chunk it. I think I just bought it again in the charity shop because it looks like, ooh, ooh, it looks so smart. Ooh, it looks so sassy. That's why I picked it up. On this shelf, we do have the big old Lorna Dune. So I bought this because this is where my name comes from and I wanted to read it. Have I read it? No. Will I read it one day? Will that day be soon? No, because look at the size of it. I'm gonna need a lot of patience for this, aren't I? Um, and the writing is small. So it will get read, not soon, but I will one day read it because it's got my name on the front. That's where my name comes from. So one day. So on that shelf, we've only had three unread books. See, we're not doing too bad, but these are the hardbacks, aren't they? So, I mean, I'm more likely to read a hardback when it first come out, comes out. Okay, so now we're on seven. Seven unread books so far. It's gonna, it's gonna get wild here. Now, on the next shelf, we're gonna get a bit more now. Let's have a look. Have I read this one? No, okay. Haven't read that one, haven't read that one. Let's do half the shelf at once, shall we? Because this could get a bit much else. We have The Little Coffee Shop of Kabul by Deborah Rodriguez. Yeah, I, I thought I was gonna trip up on saying that then. This one, again, charity shop. Also haven't read it. Am I gonna, um, I don't know. I might see if my mum wants to read this one because something just fell over behind me. Um, doesn't kind of spark my interest that much. We've got Here's Looking at You by Mari McFarlane. Wow, the spine on that has really lost its colour because it's where it's been sat in the sun. Um, one that my mum gave to me. I will read that one. Ah, that's cute. I like that. Ah, yeah, that looks good. So I will read that one. And we've got Autumn Skies Over Ruby Falls by Holly Martin. I haven't read that one. Um, obviously, I'm going to read it probably this year because, you know, I'm big on Holly. We have Cecilia Ahern. Uh, a place called here. Oh, that spine has gone in the sun as well. Um, again, another Cecilia one, which I probably should take off my shelves. I need to evaluate whether I want to keep her or not and go from there because don't have any inclination to pick it up. Another two unread on this shelf is If I Never Met You by another Mari McFarlane book. Again, came from my mum will read them because mum says they're good but they just haven't been something that I that I go to pick up and we also have George R. R. Martin A Storm of Swords to Blood and Gold these are all in random places on my shelves because obviously I've got them organised by kind of a colour and order in some kind of odd description um, but yeah I probably won't read the Game of Thrones books I would like to I would like to think that I'm going to um, but will I? most likely not we're going down to the shelf below. We have 100 Names by Cecilia Ahern. Again, you know what I've said about that. Um, the One That We Fell In Love With by Page Tune. I really wanna get into Page Tune books, but I just never think to pick them up. And I have got, I think I've got one or two, well, definitely one, two on my bookshelf, so yeah. Um, the Lido by Libby Page, gonna read this one soon. This is one that I want to pick up kind of swiftly. And then we've got other Holly Martin books on the shelf. One's quite big. A Home on Bramble Hill. We've got The Summer of Chasing Dreams, which just makes you think about being on a beach on holiday. Oh, I wanna be, I wanna be on holiday. And The Complete Happiness series, which I think is actually two books in one, but we'll class that as like one book because I would read the whole thing in one. I'm gonna move us down now. We've We've come down here because we're kind of on the lower levels of the, sh of the shelves. So we've got, unread, another George um, R. Martin book, another Game of Thrones book. It's easier to say that, isn't it? Another Game of Thrones book because I've only read the first one. Uh, let's see, let's see. I haven't read that or that or that. Oh, we're getting to like a stage of lots unread now. So Jane Green, Summer Secrets, although that looks kind of cool. So maybe that'll be like a summer read this year. The Boy Who Drew the Future by Rianne Ivory. What that? Comic-Con actually. 
and The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Gabrath, aka JK Rowling. I haven't picked it up because I actually borrowed it from someone um, and then accidentally never gave it back and I'm not friends with them anymore so um, can't really give it back. How can you keep a secret? Sophie Kinsella. Now I've read some Sophie Kinsella since I've had this and I'm not really feeling her vibe so potentially could take this one off. Do I really want to read it? Probably not. I've got lots of other things that I could be reading so that one could be demoted. We've got Christmas at Claridge's by Karen Swan. A Christmas book. So this definitely will not be read until at least Christmas time and we'll soon see how many groups Christmas books I have to read because this year all the Christmas has just gone 2020 I love books to read so I've probably like quite on top of my book Christmas books at the moment to be honest another page tune book one perfect Christmas and other stories now I bought this and I started to read it and I realized that it's basically loads of stories which are linked on from her other books so I'll need to read sections of it as I read her other books so even though I want to read this I can't because I don't know the other stories. I probably could, but it would just make a lot more sense and be a lot more poignant if I read her actual big books first, because these lead on. They're little stories that go alongside them. Lindsay Kelk, We Were On A Break. Um, I haven't read, um, I don't think this is part of a series and I haven't read her individual, some of her individual books, but I will get to it. Really enjoy her. She's a by the pool kind of read. So read that maybe if I manage to go on holiday or something like that, imagine. Also, Wild Woman by Louise Pentland. I've read the first wild book, which is called Wild Like Me. Um, and I will be reading the other two, which actually I think belong to my mum, but she's given them to me. Um, she bought them. Did she buy them? Yeah, she did buy them. Wild Woman and I can't remember what the other one's called. It's on the other shelf somewhere. Um, oh, Wild About a Girl. I will read them. Don't know when, because I've got a lot to read soon, obviously. How to Keep a Secret by Sarah Morgan. Um, no, I definitely haven't read that one. Um, really enjoy Sarah Morgan books. And again, another summary read. There's so many reads that books that I like to read in the summertime, which is kind of problematic. The last two books on the shelf that I haven't read are another Cecilia Hearn one, uh, Liarbird, which I did start reading. And I think I read like 50 pages or so and I just couldn't get into it. So I put it back down and I thought I'll try again another time. And I didn't. So yeah oops and then we have the nightingale by Kristen Hanna I was going to read this last year I totally planned to read it and I didn't get round to it everyone says that I'm really going to enjoy this because I really enjoy historical fiction things like the Tattooist of Auschwitz, Silke's Journey um obviously I read The Secret She Kept which I really enjoyed so everyone says that I would really enjoy this so I'm going to get to it but it, I think I've got to be in a certain mood for it so we're currently on 31 ad read books which is uh, harsh Okay, now this bottom shelf, I can't bring you down here. I'm just kind of, oh, I'm wearing such tight jeans, which I bought during a lockdown. And, you know, they've got tighter because pandemic pounds. So let's try and not rip them as I get down here. I don't know if I might not get them out here and show you. So I've got, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave them down there and just talk you through them. So we've got uh, the Wonder by Emma Donoghue, which I bought from a charity shop and I purchased because I'd read Room and I really enjoyed it, um, as far as you can enjoy that book if that makes sense, and I thought that I'd read some more of hers, purchased them, and then didn't read them. I've got another one somewhere, can't remember what it's called, I know what the frog music, frog music it's called, um, so I haven't read that one, so there's one on this shelf so far. There's another Game of Thrones book, which is Dance with Dragons, Two After the Feast, so that one. We've got Loki, Where Mischief Lies, number three. I'm a bit low, sorry, I'm a bit low down here, aren't I? Um, Lisa Jewell, Then She Was Gone. I'm looking forward to reading that one quite soon, actually. I forgot that was down there. And then I've got all my Twisted Tales down here. I haven't read Let It Go, which is the Frozen one. I haven't read So This Is Love, which looks like a Cinderella one. I haven't read Straight On Till Morning, which is Peter Pan. I haven't, <laughs> look at me down here like, hello. Um, I haven't read Unbirthday, which is, I'm losing track. I'm trying to, uh, Unbirthday, which is the Alice in Wonderland one. Ah, and I've also not read The Night Circus is on here by Erin Morgenstern. I plan to read that, but I've just not picked it up, but it will happen at some point. 
So on that shelf, we're going for nine. One day I will read The Night Circus, but it's something that everybody's hyped so much that I'm kind of scared that I'm not going to like it because that's, quite, that's what happens with me. That's just how, how the cookie crumbles. Um, I do want to pick it up, but we'll soon see. So we're now on 40. We've done 40 MRO books. Oh, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Jane Austen books, which I've not read. It, read. So that's good. We're on 47 now. But we've done this side. You'll be glad to hear. So we're going to, bearing in mind, by the way, this is not an exact number because there are books that I've lent to other people. There are ones that I've got like in and around the flat. Actually, I've got The House in the Cerulean Sea, which is not on my shelves right now. It's in the lounge. So that's going to be 48 because I've been planning to start reading it for ages and I haven't. Um, but we've done this side now. Um, let's let's go over to the other side and I'll get back up. Okay, we're back up here now. On some shelves, I might just kind of show you. That might be a little bit easier here. So I'm just gonna flippy flip the camera around. So up here, I mean, these are technically unread, but I've obviously read the books themselves, but I just haven't read these special editions. So we'll kind of ignore those because they are read books. Now up here, um, I haven't read any of, I haven't read any of these. I don't know if I would count these. Uh, I don't think I will count these in unread books because it's kind of a different kettle of fish, but these I would. And the only one I've read is Murder on the Orient Express. So we've got one, two, sorry, very bad camera skills here. One, two, three, four, five. So five Emre books on that shelf. I've been buying those Agatha Christie books, knowing full well that I will read them, but I just haven't got to them yet. Um, and to be fair, so we're on 53 now, um, to be fair, they haven't been on my shelves that long, so it could be a lot worse, couldn't it? Now we're working our way down, we're on the shelf that you're sat on. We have The Girls I've Been and Henna Wars, as you know, planning to read them very soon. We have Invisible Woman. Uh, this is one that I'm kind of not sure I'm gonna read it. It's not a fiction book, so it would depend when the mood takes me, really. We have Postcards from the Past by Marcia Willett. This is one that my grandma got me for Christmas one year. I just haven't picked it up yet. I think that she is actually, she writes books. Basically, this woman who wrote these, this book lives kind of near where my family comes from back home. Um, so I think that's why she bought me that one. So we'll read that at some point, but just haven't thought to pick it up yet. Always the Bridesmaid, another Lindsay Kelk book. Um, again, an individual one. Yeah, an individual one, and I just haven't read many of her individual ones yet. I can also see we've got Wild About the Girl, which I've already mentioned, by Louise Pentland. We also have The History of Bees by Marja Lund. Uh, look, that looks like that. I, every time I look at that, I can never figure out if it's like a fact book or a fiction book, but it is a fiction book. Um, we've got The Lives We Touch by Eva Woods, because one of her books, How To Be Happy, is one of my favourites. So I bought this book as well, because I was like, hmm, I might really like that, and then I've not read it. I've also got Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Knoll. This one was a gift quite a long time ago. Again, not thought to pick it up. Story of my life with my bookshelves. <laughs> On this shelf, we also have Clap When You Land. As you know, looking to read that one soon. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ngu, I think. Uh, it Only Happens in the Movies by Holly Bourne. I've read like her series, but not all of her individual books. And On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Again, one that I want to read quite soon, actually. And when I say quite soon, we mean in the next few months because there's so many that I need to read quite soon that I just can't do it all, can I? Soon adds up on that shelf, we've got 13 books. So we're on 66 unread books, wow. Okay, next shelf. It's getting a bit messy here. What have we got? What haven't I read? Oh, I'm about halfway across. Half a World Away by Mike Gale. I'm not going out because it's kind of behind things. Half a World Away by Mike Gale. Haven't read, so it's one. Oh, we're doing so well on this shelf. The Wacky Man by, is that Lynn Farrell? I think that says. The Wacky Man by Lynn Farrell, haven't read that one. So was that two, two books on that shelf? Also on this shelf, I haven't read Meet Me at the Cafe Ca Meet Me at the Cuff Cake Cafe. Meet Me at the Cupcake Cafe, even, by Jenny Colgan. I'm not sure if I've read many jo Jenny Colgan books and I'm not sure if I've enjoyed them that much. So it might be one, this might be a test for if I enjoy her books. If not, then I just get rid of anything of hers that I've got or have read. I'm not sure, I really can't remember. Then I've also got The Angel Tree by Lucinda Riley. Again, I think this one was a gift. Um, it's quite big. That is the reason that I've not picked it up yet and it looks quite Christmassy so this needs to be like a December, November maybe, uh, festive -y. not festive but wintry read. So that was four on that shelf, not too bad. 
Okay, next. There's going to be a lot of books here that I haven't read um, in this zone. So firstly, we've got, and I can't get these out because they're kind of behind stuff. We've got Great Expectations. And then the Noughts and Crosses series. That I can't remember if I've read the last in the series. So it'd be Checkmate, Double Cross and Crossfire. So that's five books. Um, I can't remember whether I've read those things or not. Now we've got... So we'll keep all my new books. There's going to be a lot on this shelf. So we had Great Expectations. So we got four, was it four books? One, two, three, four, four books so far. Then we've got Inside the Ballerina by Chloe Oppenshaw. We've got Loveless. I'm um, causing myself problems here. I'm struggling to count as well. Loveless by Alice Oseman because I read her Heartstopper series and loved it. We've got Close to Home by Cara Hunter because I read the last in the Adam Forley or well, the most recent in the Adam Forley series, loved it and was like, why don't I own the first ones? So I bought that to read that. Uh, Not the Type by Camilla Thurlow. Only just bought that one because I love her and I just thought it'd be really nice to read her book. So that takes us up to eight. I'm just kind of rattling through these now. We've also got The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, ninth on the shelf. Blood Orange by Harriet Tice. Seen people enjoying that one. So I thought, that's a bit of me. And I got it for like two pounds, bargain. Remember Who You Are by Beth Cooper, my Disney story. Uh, we Ride Upon Sticks by Quan Barry, one that I'm going to read very, very soon. So what that takes us up to, what were we on? We were on eight, so we're on 12 on this shelf now, and I'm, on, I'm only in one corner of it. I can also see in there I've got, everything's just fallen over, 20s Girl by Sophie Kinsella. Again, not sure. I think I need to read one of Sophie Kinsella's books that isn't a Christmas one and see because I didn't really love her Christmas shopaholic one although I've been told the Christmas shopaholic series as a whole is just problematic so we'll see I need to read one and then decide what what I think about her as an author so that's what's that number 13 number 13 now I've got 14 15 16 17 remember 17 guys Killjoy by Holly Jackson, just a small one. Um, Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. What were we on? What were we on? 17. We Are All Birds of Uganda by Hafsa Zayan. And The Little Bookshop of Love Stories by Jamie Admans. Admans. 17. Remember 17. Number 18 on this shelf, I can see another Game of Thrones book, Dance with Dragons Part 1. So it's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. <laughs> this is a bad shelf. The Glass House by Eve Chase. Everything's just fallen over again. Wrapped Up in You by Jill Chavis. These are some books that like my mum has had and then sent my way. The Minute I Saw You by Paige Toon. Again, another Paige Toon book. So I could do like a thing of reading some Paige Toon books and then reading the short story sections, couldn't I? Uh, How Do You Like Me Now by Holly Bourne. And I've forgotten what number we were on. I said 17. Have we gone up since 17? I've got confused with the counting situation. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're on 21. I can't even remember what I just said to you guys, but I think it's 21 on the shelf so far. As I've, I've told you, this is not an accurate counting, so 21 or something on this shelf. Uh, we've also got I Don't Know How She Does It by Alison Pearson, the one that got made into a film, so let's say 22. Uh, another page tune, 13 Weddings, is that? 13 Weddings, so I've lost count again. 23? I have the memory of a goldfish. I think that's it. Let's, so we've got to say about around, because let's be honest, you've just seen I've messed up my counting. So we're going to say around 23 books on this shelf, which <laughs> takes us up to 93 books. God, I'm having a mischief, aren't I? Okay, now excuse the mess that is my desk over here, but this is the only angle that we're going to be able to do this. So I'm just going to have to talk you through these because this is very problematic. Uh, we've got Frog Music by Emma Donoghue, The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett, Adventures of, even I'm struggling to see them, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. What's down there? Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Bernard. Uh, I did not know I had the jungle book like that. Okay, um, Delayed Arrays of a Star by Amanda Lee Co. Well, we had a real problem with the camera there and I didn't even realise. Uh, so Delayed Rays of a Star, Amanda Lee Co. Uh, a Year and a Day by Isabel Broom. Haven't read that, that's a Christmassy looking one. And then we've got three Game of Thrones books down here. And The Inland Sea, 
Uh, so that's 10. The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. And I'm not just reading out every book on my shelf. These are the ones that I haven't read. And then Small Island by Andrea Levy. So what does that take us to? Oh my goodness. Was that 11 or 12? It was either 11 or 12. Let's say 11 because my counting is not there. So we've, guys, we've gone over 100. So we're on 104 ish because we know how my counting's going right now are you ready okay this is the last shelf this is just a chaotic video i mean you've even seen the mess in the background like it's my dumping ground um are you ready for this so i haven't read let's see if we can get the ones behind first okay i can see some books that i have read which is good news the horse dancer haven't read that peacock emporium these are jojo moy's books by the way haven't read that that says for me love that's read that I can see Watching You by Lisa Jewell, number three on this shelf. Uh, Song for a Whale by Lynn Kelly, have not read that. I'm sorry, I know it's so much better when I show you, but this part of the shelf is just very chaotic. Uh, Foreign Fruit, I've read that, I've read that. Let's have a look. I've got Double Layer, Summer at the Kindness Cafe by Victoria Walters. I haven't read that, so it's number five. I've got to keep my hand like this, else I'll forget. The Familiars by Stacey Halls. This is Love by Danny Atkins. I haven't read either of those. Ciara Garrity, This is Now. I haven't read that one, so we're on eight. Should I write that down? Let's just, let's write that down because I'm gonna forget because we've got a whole nother layer. We're almost at the end, guys. <laughs> okay, so I haven't read An Almost Perfect Holiday by Lucy Diamond, so that's one. I haven't read A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Didn't realise that was the same person who wrote Secret Garden. Why am I so bad with classic books? I've read Little Woman, I've read Heidi. I haven't read Anne of Green Gables. Sorry. Um, I haven't read Jane Eyre, Charlotte Bronte. I haven't read... Have I read The Railway Children? I think I've read The Railway Children when I was a kid. I don't really remember it, but I have read it. The Wind in the Willows, haven't read that. Treasure Island, haven't read that. And I've got multiple editions. I've got another editions here of Grain of, Grain of Green Gables, The Secret Garden, but we're not counting those. Um, Pinocchio. I'm not going to count that one. Um, I've got other books on here as well. So, for example, M Women Don't Owe You Pretty. I'll count that because that is one that I'll read within my kind of thing. The Guest Book at Willow Cottage, number nine. 100 Proposals. Sunrise Over Sapphire Bay. And fairy tale beginnings i've counted so much of my fingers that i forgot i think that's 17 yeah 17 on that sh no that can't be right because i've already done the back so on that last bit of the front i think that ended up being 13 like i say my counting's very poor so i can't guarantee anything so on that shelf itself that was 21 books and that brings our total of unread books to 125 books ish wow that's so bad oh my god don't judge me 125 unread books and by the time you see this video let's be honest there's going to be more because i'm going book shopping oh my god 125 unread books mum please don't watch this video ah 125 unread books Oh my god, that's so bad. I have so many books to read. I need to read more. Oh, this is worrying. Okay, so it's 125-ish. 25, that's kind of quite a num nice number to land on. Um, but obviously my counting skills have been really poor and I've missed some books and probably counted some twice. So around 125, could be 120, could be 130, who knows, but it's disgraceful is regardless of what number it ends up being exactly 120 you know over 100 is disgraceful so i've got a lot of reading to do so i'm sorry this is this has been the most chaotic video ever i've literally just been shouting at you what books i haven't read um should be shouting at myself so that i actually read them but has that happened no um am i just a bit hyper this morning yes because you know and even worse now because i'm like oh my god i've got so many books to read oh my god so yeah that's that's where this video is gone so you know i hope you enjoyed um if any of these uh like your favorite book that i've not read let me know so that i know to like put them at the top of the list any of these that i've got listed as my unread 
and you love them, tell me in the comment section so that I know to read it. Um, because how are you supposed to pick from 125 books as to what you want to read first? And I'm just so overexcited, I can't stop speaking really fast. I haven't even got the camera in the middle of the screen. Um, pretty sure it's moving. Don't even know what's going on there. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm going to go and cry now about how many books I've got to read. I'm just kidding, I'm not going to cry. Um, it's a bit intimidating though, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit intimidating. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't judge me. Uh, I like buying books. Apparently more so than I like reading them. So there's a fun fact for you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you all soon. Bye!